Just wanted to spot it, bring you guys another gameplay commentary. This is New World. And this is a noobs two week lens review of New World, right? Full disclosure, right? I say two weeks. Um, I played this game about a year ago when Brimstone Sand came out, and I knew I would eventually come over to this game. I knew I, I had limited, I wouldn't say limited time playing BDO, but I was coming to an end. I've pretty much done everything that I could possibly do in Black Desert Online. I got all of the gear that I needed. I was at max level. I pretty much got everything. I've done everything. And I played that game for four years, man. So uh, I had a lot of fun, um, but this is a new journey. And so essentially it's, it's a two week lens, right? I'm viewing everything from that lens of being a complete noob. I don't know the matchups in this game. I don't know, I shouldn't say that. I know a few matchups and I don't know them well. So I know Spare and Rapier. I know Flame Staff because I fight a lot of Flame Staff players. I know a little bit of Hatchet. Uh, there's a player in here that uh, that I fight that plays a hatchet, and I cannot beat this guy. He, when he uses a flail and a hatchet combo, I'm almost, to me, the player is almost invincible, right? Again, I don't necessarily know the matchups, and a lot of, a lot, all of the, all of these fights here, because I've just mainly been doing duels and just getting my PvP track up, doing the quests and then a bit of outpost rush can never get into a 3v3 I, you know i don't want to necessarily i don't want to say that rarely do i get into a 3v3 and so i've devoted most of my time to uh, outpost rush and dueling and a lot of just pve to get gear Right, um, and again, I don't, I don't know a lot about this game in, in terms of balance and uh, matchups and uh, what are the best perks and the best weapon combinations and what's the best technique to use. I don't know any of those things, and that's that is exciting to me. Right, uh, this game does have all of the elements that I like about any game that I play. It has a really solid lore to me. I like the fact that Eternium, or uh, I think that's what it's called, right? Eternium. I like the fact that uh, the lore to me is is interesting. It has a bit of, you know. Um, uh, it's, it's it reminds me a lot well not all of it but Stargate with um, Brimstone Sand it reminds me a lot of you know the 18th century I think this game takes place in the 18th century either 18th or 17th and uh I just like I like the element of it. I like the lore. I like the fact that this mysterious island is out in West Bubblefuck, <laughs> West Bubble, and uh, you know it it offers eternity, right? And there's technology there that far surpasses technology that we have today. <laughs> I mean, these are all like fictional uh, depictions. So, uh, but I, I I do enjoy that. I like the fact that. There are elements of theory crafting. Again, I don't know the best perks. I don't know the combinations. I don't know any of those things. And, I, and again, I, like I said, I really uh, I like that aspect. This is the guy that I was talking about earlier. This guy, I think his name is Pikachu. This guy right here, 
uh, on that flail and hatchet is it's a very very difficult setup to beat uh, it has range it has uh, invincibility frames it has uh, damage it has survivability it has a lot of utility especially when it comes to the hatchet and so um, I still haven't figured out how to get to that. And, and I said this earlier, most of, most, all, almost all of these fights have zero strategy. I'm just reacting. And that is not how I like to play. But, you know, when you start playing a game for, playing a game for the first time or relatively new to the, when you're relatively new to a game, you know, you really want to, you know, just get the muscle memory down, try to keep up, and then just build your strategy, right? I'm trying to work on a lot of different types of like movements and when to engage, when not to engage. And once I get, once I get to that point, I think uh, I'll feel, feel I'd, I'll be a bit more comfortable. Now, I, I'm, I'm not... And again, that is exciting to me. And, uh, you know, hopefully I can play this game for more than, well, I, you know, knowing myself, you know, I'll play this game for a while. The same way I played Elder Scrolls, the same way I played Black Desert Online, the same way I played all of the shooters. You know, I, I, you know, I personally think gaming is a privilege and you know, it's a hobby for me, even though it's been a part of my, you know, adolescent to adult life. And, um, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give this uh, gaming up for, I wouldn't say anything. I, I, I have a kid. I would definitely give it up for my kid. I have a family. I would do that as well. But, you know, luckily I don't have to make that choice, right? Um, and I, I do look forward to like open world and like solo play, like OPR and and uh, the three v threes, and even even the the dungeons, the PVE aspect of it, right? I I just think like all of those elements I really enjoy. And last but not least, right? I will say this: I've played a lot of. MMOs, right? Well, I played essentially three MMOs, RPG MMOs, right? Uh, I mean, I played Call of Duty, uh, Battlefield, like those are considered MMOs, but in terms of like RPG MMOs, I played three of them and I played them for nine years. And I will say that this is an actual battle this is an actual action battle uh battle game okay. this is an act this is an actual action game right the combat is action based there's no there's no uh there's no gimmicks about it right and this is from a two week lens so i might be wrong but everything you have to react, right? Everything you have to do. There's no, uh, I mean, with the controller support coming in, I, I've seen that they've disabled, uh, they've disabled aim assist and, and those types of things, and they do have an option to enable them in PVE. But I like the fact that it's disabled, um, and I've always maintained, if you play on a, a keyboard and mouse, your advantage to me is more when it comes to you know precise aiming, but up close and personal melee range, I think the controller has it. And uh, you know I'm currently playing on a controller right now. I've done a few things to make sure the movements in, in terms of the right and, le and left analog stick are just as good or possibly better when it comes to when compared to mouse and keyboard so uh, I am having fun uh, just being to look out for more content and uh, I 
think that's it. I'm I'm out. Check you guys later, man. It was good to do a commentary. I haven't done one in a 